Hello friends. I am set up to do some cloning. I'm just going to take six little samples of the inside of three different mushrooms. So I'm going to take two samples per mushroom from the inside and I take from the inside of the cap and the bottom part of the stem. So two each, each mushroom. And I always choose mushrooms in a cluster, a really healthy cluster to clone. So I don't pick the big ones, I pick the healthy clusters. And I wanted to show you these no pour agar jars and something that we're gonna be experimenting with. So here is the still air box and I just popped it right on my oven top here. I have a flat oven top and I'm gonna sanitize and put gloves on, of course. But I wanted to show you what happens when you flip the lids on the no-pour jar and this very light MEA recipe. So usually when we clone, the first plate, as we've shared with you, is water agar to eliminate contamination. However, that is very slow to grow in water agar. So the husband has this theory of an incredibly light MEA. So we're giving this a go and you can see how light it is. We didn't put any food coloring in these jars. I also wanted to share with you kind of what I do when I flip the lids. So to help with the condensation in the no-pour jars, we have determined after an experiment to flip the lids. We did it at the beginning and then we just kind of stopped and forgot why and it was because it reduces the condensation. There's a little venting. So if you flip the lids before you pressure cook for 20 minutes at 15 PSI, you'll need to put foil on top. And then what I do is I just take the foil off as the agar is cooling on a flat surface so we can get a nice level jar or plate. <laughs> and then I lay down two alcohol soaked paper towels here in this still air box. And I open the no pour jars and immediately turn them upside down on the alcohol paper towel. And as you can see all the condensation on the top of the lid from the pressure cooking. And so I actually have the part of the lid that's gonna be closest to the agar is down on the alcohol paper towel. And I will just put the transfer right in the center of these plates, no pour jars. And I will pop the clean lid right on top and then put the ring around it. And then I flip the jars right side up until the mycelium starts to grow. And then I flip them upside down just like this so that I can see the growth. So again, once the mycelium really starts to grow out on the plate from a clone or a transfer, then you can just flip it upside down so you can see what's happening through the bottom. And I shared with you in another video that we recommend you get the clear glass jars so you can see. However, you can see we have some quilted jars as well. And when you flip them upside down, you can see what's happening. So that's a little bit of a tip and secret with the no-pour jar to see what's happening inside. And so I will alcohol and clean and wear gloves and then we will get on cloning these tasty, tasty mushrooms. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the subscribing and the support. We love hearing from you in the comments. The husband actually checks all the comments and responds. And we would love to know in the comments what you want to hear from us. What do you want to learn? What do you want to know? What are your questions? We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for all your love and support, and we'll see you again soon.